neutralized. It's going to be one of those days. As soon as I hopped on, I just knew. I just knew the bullshit would rain from above. Hell has let loose. The Call of Duty gods has said, No, Echo, you're going to get shit on today. Yeah, well, the, if you guys can tell, I'm running. I'm versing snipers today. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's some of the, Sometimes when you just hop on, you, as soon as the first game starts, you just know right from the get-go, today was not the day to play Call of Duty because the bullshit is in force. The bullshit squad is inbound, meaning quickscopers, LMGs, campers, they are inbound. Red screen gun and tack inserting snipers, they are inbound. And it was just a rough day for me, guys. But I've got some Call of Duty 101, hopefully to help us deal and adjust for the inbounding Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. First off, guys, you got to realize what the problem is. There is a problem. You need to realize there is a problem. And that is in Call of Duty, there is bullshit. you got to figure out what's the problem of bullshit. What are you facing that day? Are they camping? Are they quick scoping? Are they tack inserting? Are they just using the red screen gun or overpowered Von der Haat Insta Melt pistols? You just need to realize what there is a problem. You need to realize what is your problem. And next, you need to figure out how to counter the problem. Take a, ca a camper, for example. If you are versing a camper, you need to figure out what a, a, a good camper will run equipment. They will camp with a uh, riot shield, claymores, EMPs. I mean, they will camp with sh Betty's shock charges. You need to figure out what they're running. And then EMP it. That will obviously give you a lot of points. Hopefully, you'll drop, depending on how much equipment they have, you'll drop a swarm. That would be pretty cool. I mean, it's possible. I mean, you think about it, the worm. Throw an EMP in there, you've got yourself two swarms. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And a biblical C4 throw. But once you've identified what the problem is, after you've countered the problem, you have to either, there's two ways you've got to kill the person. One, you've got to bullshit them, which a lot of people do in Call of Duty now. Red screen gun, quick scoping. You know, you, you, that's two ways to play. Bullshit them or skill. And a lot of people don't have a lot of skill. You've got average, you've got shit, and then you've got the beasts. And for me, guys, the worm, he, yeah, he camps. He bullshits. But you know what? Besides when he's not camping, when he's running and gunning, he's a beast. He doesn't have to bullshit. He's got the skill to back it up. He just prefers to do it that way. And that's what a lot of campers do. And that's what a lot of people do. They rather bullshit because it pisses people off than actually play skillfully. And you know what? Hey, I can't blame them. I will bullshit the bullshitter. I, I, if I can't beat you skillfully, you better be damn sure I'm pulling out that red screen gun. I will bullshit you all the way the kingdom come. But now that you've uh, countered the problem, you've gone in there and killed them, or not, you've got to either right, either, this is the next problem. If they're good and they keep kicking your ass, here's the fight or flight instinct. Either got to realize you can't beat them and quit going back to get yourself killed, because I mean, honestly, right now, we're getting our ass handed to us. We're losing. We, we are. Uh, the point of the matter is, once you've skilled them or beast them, you've got to adjust. If you can't beat them, or back to the fight or flight, if you can't beat them, you fly. You don't go back the same direction. You find someone else to kill. You don't have to keep going the same direction. You need to adjust to the situation. If you can't beat them, or you want to keep getting your ass kicked, I mean, you'd be more than happy to. I don't care. It's not as long as it's not me. If you want to keep going back there and getting beasted, be my guest. I could care less. I'm just trying to help you out here. And speaking of getting wrecked, my god, that see, that's the one gun that can beat a red screen gun in close combat. If you want to beat a Remington, throw a sniper rifle on Ballista, DSR, whatever. Any sniper rifle will work. It'll be a, <laughs> it's just bullshit, but whatever. Sniper rifles for long range, you know, shotguns are for close range, whatever, and pick up the this nice three piece one, two, and three. But that's all I really got for you. You gotta either you gotta realize there is a problem. Identify the problem, counter the problem, and then adjust to the situation, because if you don't adjust, you're just gonna get your ass handed to you. And that's how you become a better Call of Duty player. You've gotta use your head, you just can't go in there, ball to the walls, balls deep, like I'm gonna wreck your motherfuckers and oh wow. Don't do that because that was a panic C4. If you've never seen one, you just did. I will claim that, that was my bad, but you know, that's why I said, I will admit, people that are quick scoping, C4ing, you know, I will admit it. C4 is OP. Quick scoping is OP. Remington's OP. You know what? That's balls to the walls, and hey, nothing wrong with that, but man, I hate it when it's me. I really, I really do. I really do hate it with me. But that's besides, <laughs> that's, oh, oh, it doesn't matter. But you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay commentary. It is getting pretty crazy. But Advanced Warfare is going to have the same problem. Any Call of Duty coming out in the future, that's, that's how you got to play. And look at this coming in, coming inbound. Echo Hold Point coming inbound. You know what? You know what? Come here. Get boosted. And then I die right there. But, you know. <laughs>
This game was pretty crazy. I know the commentary wasn't that good. I hope if you guys did enjoy the gameplay commentary, make sure to leave a like, a share, and tell me what you, you think of it. If there's any tips and tricks you guys have for me, leave it in the comment section down below. And speaking of tips and tricks, I really do appreciate all the likes and the support I had on my last video. Sub, su uh, sub for sub, hell no. That was just phenomenal, guys. What well, you guys really enjoyed that video. So I uh, hope you guys see you around. This is your rage inducing player. Echo Hole Point. If you guys like to see, follow me on Twitter, it's down linked in the description. Your rage inducing player, Echo Hole Point, out. Peace!